because I'm going to forget some stuff. We're live. Are we live? We're live. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Pressure's on with Josh here. What's going on guys, welcome to the video. Welcome to the amazing facilities here down at SMA Strength and Motion Academy down in Midland. Brought to you by good mates Josh and Navar. Uh, just taking a little bit of time today to have a chat to you about specificity in your training and a little bit about how important culture is for your training and, and uh, your mindset when you train. So in terms of specificity, what we're talking about is the equipment that you use, your setup when you're lifting, making sure that all your sets, all your reps, if you're competing, are comp, comp specific, comp worthy. Um, so in terms of making your equipment specific to your training, for myself, as I compete in Powerlifting Australia (IPF), we do use IPF. Uh, sorry, we do use Alico equipment. Um, now this equipment, the bar is extremely stiff. There's very minimal whip on the bar. Uh, very aggressive knurling. The plates themselves are very thin. Uh, they're just the cast iron, cast iron plates. So compare them to some of your bumper plates out there. These ones will be about a quarter of the thickness. So myself training down at these facilities here, a lot of gyms don't have this specific equipment. So what I did, I went out, got in contact with Sam's Fitness. Um, and pick myself up some ATX competition spec gear. So, grab myself an ATX power, uh, ATX RAM power bar, and some ATX 25 kilo competition discs. Um, now, for myself, I'm deadlifting quite a quite a significant amount of weight. So, when I get to anything over 200 kilos, I really need that specific gear um, to make it as close to competition spec as possible. Because if I'm using uh, some of the standard stuff you find in the gym, there's going to be a lot of whip and flex in the bar um, and it just makes the lift way too easy. Same with if you're using bumper plates, some of the thick bumpers you can find, they're just going to make the, the lift so much easier. Now in terms of making sure that your lifts are specific, um, you may want to make sure that each single lift you're approaching it like it's uh, a competition lift, like it's your top set. Even in your warm-ups, you want to be making sure that those lifts are perfect. Making sure you're hitting depth, shout out to Mitchell. Making sure you're listening to calls if you're getting calls. Um, and just making sure everything is on track for competition. Now, one of the other important things about your training is the culture of the gym. Now, I'm pretty lucky down at SMA here, we've got an amazing culture. A lot of fantastic guys and girls down here. Um, everyone gets around each other, very supportive environment. You've got ping pong, you've got your barbecues, you've got your birthdays, all that kind of good stuff. Um, and one other good thing about SMA is the seminars that they run. So just promoting that culture that we inform and teach people about lifts. Um, for myself, I find that this culture really, really improves my lifting. Uh, it really makes it a lot more enjoyable. Uh, you go to those gyms where you can't deadlift, you can't use chalk, et cetera, et cetera. You can't do any heavy kind of lifting. Um, and it just, I don't know, it just makes you, makes you not want to be there. And going to somewhere like SMA, all your powerlifting gyms, uh, the Strength Fortress over in, in Melbourne, shout out JP, Obsidian Strength, all those kind of places, they're the places you want to be training at if you want to take your, your training really specific. Um, places that have the equipment, have the great culture that pushes you to achieve the, achieve the results that you want to hit. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much all we're going to talk about today. Thank you to MVP. Thank you to Strength and Motion Academy. Good luck with your training. Keep it specific as possible. Thank you. MVP. Yeah, cool. MVP, MVP, 09 all the way to 16. Even next season looking like a breeze. A lot of y'all ain't built for the league. Yeah.